This is Russ Anderson. In the previous section of this tutorial, we did an initial 3D track of our shot from 360 Heroes using a linearized camera view of it. And as a result, we got a whole bunch of trackers and camera path, but those are only in the section of the view that the camera was looking at. So it's left large portions of the scene with no, no trackers in them. So we want to have trackers better distributed throughout the entire environment. And that's what we'll be doing here using a tool in Synthize called Add Many Trackers. So, you know, as you can see, there's, there's nothing going on over here. And we'll, we'll start out by doing what amounts to a first portion of a auto track. Where here we've added identify different features that are trackable and now we'll just filter them out to see the ones that are longer than 30 frames long that are good candidates for creating trackers from. So here's our area of interest for starters. So let's go and lasso select that. And now we'll fire up the Add Many Trackers tool. And you'll see that we make sure that we have turned on this checkbox only within last lasso. So we're going to be telling it that we only want to be creating trackers within that lasso that we just did that corresponded to the area that doesn't have them at present. And you know there are a lot of options here about how long the trails need to be before they're usable and how many we want and so on and so forth. So we, we can just pick out some, some sensible values that we've got here. Um, no, no overwhelming significance to this. It's actually going to pick them out based on the better ones uh, first and most importantly. So we'll just click OK and now we have all of a sudden a bunch more trackers. We can go over to the coordinates view and now you, you see them here. So you can see they're distributed off to that one side. So popping back to that features view again you know, there's still more of the scene that doesn't have trackers. In particular, there's a whole area here. So let's just go and select that. Let's not get too close to that plane. And again, we'll fire up the tool and have it create a bunch more trackers. And let's scrub through the shot again. You know, there's an area around here that, that has quite a bit of potential too, it looks like. So let's just grab those and run the tool. And, you know, if there's nothing really too good, then it won't, it won't create things that aren't usable. So now we have trackers much better distributed throughout the whole scene. Here's our top view that the camera's moving along that path. And you'll notice there's still an area back here that doesn't really have very much. And that's the part that's right behind the plane, where we're really not able to see anything past the plane. So that's just a, a hazard of this particular shot. So at this point, let's just do a double check. We'll go over to a quad and hierarchy view, and we'll switch to a sort by error and let's go to the trackers panel so now if I select the tracker we can look over here at the uh, the total error numbers and see what we've got and really there's nothing that's that's super terribly bad much worse than anything else we can maybe we'll just take out you know the top two or three just on general principle illustrate the point. So now we've got a much better distribution of trackers throughout the scene and that's what we're looking for. So that wraps up this particular section of the tutorial and the next section will show a somewhat different way to do this as well. Thanks.